Hi guys, I'm John Bro, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Primus Star, Primus Star, Primus Donna. And, uh, we're gonna go to the bubble hole, which has lots of bubble holes in it, so every time we see a bubble hole there will be another bubble hole, and it's all inside of a bigger bubble hole bubble hole. And what is that on the left? It says Woods of Esurum. I don't know where they came up with that, that name. Esurum makes me think of insurance for some strange reason, I don't know why. So this is the bubble hole, bubble hole, bubble, 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 bulbasaur, and it's very purple. I like the color scheme. It's just purple, and that's it. That's good enough for me. It's purple. It's very violet. It's very slightly off indigo. The hole with the big bubble hole, bubble hole, may contain a secret. That's great. It's not a secret anymore though, because you told me exactly what I needed to know. So it's kind of like, I guess. Because it's not a secret, because it just outright told me where I needed to go, I guess that's kind of a good thing, because now I don't have to go National Treasure all up in this business and uh, try to find the secret through not very secret means. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but these enemies look an awful lot like Dragon Quest blobs. I think it's Dragon Quest. I'm not really sure if that's the right game or not. That sounds right. Because I know from whatever RPG I'm thinking of, maybe it's Maple Story or something. I don't think it's Maple Story. That, that's an M MMORPG. MMORP. Whatever I'm thinking of, there's definitely creatures, I think, from Dragon Quest that look almost exactly like these, except blue and they have mouths. So if I'm thinking the right thing, if I'm thinking of the right thing, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And we're just gonna warp. I now have the Rainbow Diamond of Manliness, as I shall call it from here on and now and forever until I forget, which is probably going to be very soon. Ah, uh, bubbles. Very gigantic, ginormous bubbles. These don't pop, they, they explode. These are explosive bubbles. This is Boom Corn, as mentioned in Curious George the movie. Okay. I've also been trying to figure out what these bubbles... Oh, that leads to death. Is that instant death? It is instant death. BRB. Alright, back to where we were before. Uh, I was talking about how the bubbles, the big blue-green looking earth-shaped, earth-blurry bubbles that you can't see through at all, I was kind of wondering what those were made out of. Because, logically, if they're bubbles, they should be made out of some kind of liquid to be what they are, I believe. Isn't that the way bubbles work? I think it is. Because I know that any time I'm in the shower, not every time, but I know that I used to try to make bubbles out of shampoo a lot whenever I was in the shower because I had nothing else to do with my uh, my time in the shower, aside from, I guess, trying to clean myself, but that's so impractical, being clean, whatever. Just kidding. I like being clean, that's why I take showers. Ob ob no 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 but ah but ah. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing maybe I don't know. The best thing that I've been able to come up with is maybe they're like hair gel or perhaps they are aqua green mustard combined with uh, dark blue tar, and that's what makes the bubbles. No idea. No idea at all. Maybe there's nothing that could possibly make that kind of bubble. But that would be kind of cool to see a bubble that had no see-through qualities. It was not transparent, it was not translucent, anything like that. That would be interesting. I want to see that happen right now. Right now in real life, I want that to happen. It must be a thing that exists. And also, these, uh... These things look a, a whole lot to me like the brain slugs from Futurama. I think that's what they're called. I could be totally wrong about that. I know that any time that I see something and I think it looks like something else, I try to go back and look at whatever I was referring to and it doesn't look anything like the thing that I was referring to, but... Just off the top of my head, these things look like Futurama bl Blaine Slugs. But I hope that they're not Brain Slugs because I don't want them possessing my brain and turning me into the kid from Limbo, trying to, you know, possess him into jumping off into cliff cliffs cliffs, and into water and such. 
I don't know. I don't want that to happen to me. That game is creepy. I should play it again. But I haven't played very much of it because all I played was the demo and I watched Josh Jepson's whole Let's Play of it and then I kind of didn't see a point in playing it, but I still want to play it because there's so much that I missed. <laughs> also, more bubbles. These bubbles are so sweet. They're just like a couple. They just bounce around doing their own thing and then every so often they just kiss. And this is the most pointless warp that I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what the purpose of that was. And these things... This thing that I'm standing on, as well as all things identical to it, reminds me of the uvulas from Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, as does the rest of this place, actually. It all kind of looks like... like Jabu Jabu's inner stomach. But it also kind of looks like it's made of cloth, or straw, or something. I really don't know. This is like a carpet texture. And it makes me think of maybe those those huts in the first world of Banjo-Kazooie, because they're like the big teepees that you crush, and then all you can see are the, the tops of the huts, and that's it. That's what that reminds me of, and this blob has hairy eyebrows. That is kind of disgusting. I do not want it to have hair anymore. That makes me sad. I did it! I did it! Way to go, Bomberman, and now I'm going to go to a place that I didn't try to record earlier. Actually, I sort of did, but I don't know anything about it. Errar's Lake. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that like WinRAR? Are we opening an Errar's file? I sure hope not, because that would be very difficult, seeing as this is a Nintendo 64 and I can't imagine how difficult it would be to compress things on a system this old. But I could be very wrong. I'm just making guesses on based on how much the system lags with all of its different games. Because I know that the way that Nintendo 64 cartridges work is different from the way CDs work, because CDs have, like, they have significantly longer loading times, obviously, but the thing that's different about them is that whenever you're actually playing the game, it lags a whole lot less. So that's why Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 has crazy loading times, and then whenever you play the game it's super smooth and everything, and I, I can't picture it being the same way with a Nintendo 64. I think it's also on the Nintendo 64, so I could test that someday if I wanted to get the, the game on two systems. Anyways, also something that I learned recently, fairly recently, about the Nintendo 64 and all cartridge-based games in general that I didn't know before is that apparently they have batteries. I just never pictured a cartridge having batteries before, ever in my life. That was just a thing that did not exist in my brain. Nothing nothing in my mind conceptualized any such thing being a thing. And I guess, I guess the reason that I thought that is because, you know, whenever you have a, a cartridge, you always connect that cartridge to something that is wired. You know, whenever you have a wireless phone, it makes sense for the wireless phone to have batteries because it's not connected to anything. But then, you know, then you have phones that are connected by way of cord, and those don't need batteries because they are connected with a cord connecting to an outlet, or whatever those things are called. I think those are still outlets, even if they're the, the weird phone kind of outlet. I don't know. And I would really appreciate getting that life because I apparently need it because I've died a bunch of times in the past half hour or so that I've been recording this. Because I'm a silly person. I'm a silly human being with no ability to play any of the games that I like. But apparently I guess the cartridges are, or the, the, the batteries in a cartridge are used for saving. Like whenever you're playing a Game Boy Advance game or a Game Boy game, there, there's a battery in it just used for keeping the save data on, which I guess maybe makes sense. I just still can't picture you needing a battery, something with a limited supply of energy, to do something like that. It just doesn't make sense to me. With that out of the way, let's proceed further through this dark, dank, ugly-looking, beautiful Lord Jabu Jabu Belly Lake. Belly Lake. It's not a belly ache, it's a belly lake. Although I could be belly aching about how much of a belly ache this belly lake is. Because I haven't belly ached enough about this game. I've just been kind of singing its praises because I think, you know, this is still a good game. It's not a great game by any means. It's 
it's definitely underrated, and I think the reason that I've been saying, oh, it's frickin' awesome, is because I really think that it deserves more recognition than it gets. It's definitely a game that I think more people should play. And although it does have a lot of average qualities to it, I think that it does a whole lot of things that other average games don't, making it above average, and then thus entering the, the classification of good, as opposed to average. If that makes any sense, it's it's an above average game in my mind. It's a game that more people should play because it is above average. And that's about the bottom line, I believe. And hopefully I have enough points by the time I get to this end of this tunnel, because I think... The way that I'm doing this, I think the walkthrough speedrun thing that I saw whenever they were getting a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of points, uh, they went through this specific tunnel to get to the end of the stage. Because, as you might have been able to tell, this has... This, this particular stage has multiple ways which you can go about it, kind of like Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors has multiple ways in which you can go, go through the game. And I guess most visual novels do, I just don't play lots of visual novels, because most of them are very, very Japanese and anime-ish. And that's probably why most people don't play them in America, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm making assumptions like I do with everything, because I don't know enough about the world to not make assumptions. I cannot be sure about everything and anything and everything. And that's kind of why it, it sort of bothers me whenever people say, Oh, you need to be sure about this. Why are you saying, I think this, I think that? You must know what you're thinking about, right? Yeah, I just know that teachers say that sort of thing to me all the time, or they used to whenever I actually had teachers, and thank goodness I had enough points. I did it! I did it! I got an A-plus on that assignment. Um, yeah, it just bothers me whenever... Oh, I love this place. Sorry, I just need to pause everything that I was just saying to talk about how beautiful the atmosphere is here. I mean, this stage is not even that notable for the most part, except for the fact that it has no music and it's just with the water running, and it's, it's, it's perfect. I love it. That's not me saying, oh, this game is frickin' amazing just because it's okay. This is me saying frickin' amazing because this is frickin' amazing. I love the atmosphere here so much. Anyways, um... Yeah, just, it bothers me whenever people say that you should always be sure of whatever you're talking about if you're talking about anything. Because there are so many things in life that you just can't be completely sure of. Like, I can't be absolutely certain that I will, uh... that I will live through the end of this Let's Play. It's very possible that I could die from some completely random uh, stream of events that I could have possibly or no possible former knowledge of. You know, that's just that's just a thing that could happen. I'm not saying it's great that it would happen, I'm just saying it could happen, and there's a very small outcropping right in here, little alcove that is very easy to miss. In fact, you're very, very, very likely to miss it, which is why I'm pointing it out, which is why I think it's kind of stupid, but in any case, yeah. The only things you can really be sh absolutely sure about in life are things like, what is 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 is 2. That's just because that's a law of the universe that you really can't change without changing everything else about the universe. That's just kind of how it works. So, I guess that's the end of that rant. I don't think there's anything else I need to say about it. Whenever, whenever these bubbles get stuck together, they look like balls. They may look like balls anyway, but not not like bouncy balls. I mean, like, you know what I mean. And a hello, hello, Pinocchio Whopper Nose. Pinocchio Whopper Nose, you have a very, very happy top hat, and that is why you must die. Because people with very happy top, top, top hats, top lights, deserve to die all the time, apparently. I... I don't know. Uh... Okay. No... Okay. Time to finally... Okay. Time to finally destroy these jelly beans with legs. These black licorice jelly beans. Is there anything else in here? I, I feel like there should be... Well... I was about to say, I feel like there should be more to this level, but we'll never find out. 
and of course, by never, I mean right now. Oh crap, there's a bomb, we're gonna die! We're gonna, we're, oh, we're, we're gonna die. Oh, no, oh, thank goodness we did not die. Hooray! Hooray for not death. That is always preferable over death. As far as I know. I could be very wrong. What? We missed something. Oh, Arar's, Arar Winrar Lake must have another exit that I don't know about. Oh boy. I guess I'll figure that out right now, because I have nothing better to do with my life. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I see how it is. I see exactly how it is. I guess this is where I want to go. This is an interesting looking place. This is especially creepy for some reason. This is creepier than the other place. Maybe part of the reason that I think this is creepy is because this reminds me, this this color, this whole color scheme here, really reminds me of the Majora's Mask title screen. I guess I don't really need to bother trying to get as many points as possible. I'm just going to try to get all the gems along the way. Yeah, I really like this. This is a cool mood. I like the whole mood that this place portrays. And what the heck is that? Not you. I wasn't talk about, talking about the bomb. I know what a bomb is. Or an ocean mine, I guess is what that would be called. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... This thing. What is this thing? Looks like a long strip of bacon turned into a seatbelt. I'm gonna go with that. It's a long strip of bacon turned into a seatbelt. Bacon seatbelts would be probably a really bad idea. Especially for your children. So, if you had a bacon seat belt, then what would the airbag be made out of? Would it be made out of just pork? A pork airbag? That just sounds disgusting. Although, it would be kind of nice if you got in a car wreck and then, all of a sudden, PORK! Just slams in your face. That would be the most pleasant way to, uh, to end a car wreck. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways... We did it! So next time, I guess we will be going to the place that I completely missed that I didn't know existed, the water slider. See you guys then, thank you for watching, and good buh